Morning, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meezy69. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to have another look at the standard B because every time I play this tank, I absolutely love it even more. Now, it is a very difficult tank to play. It has literally next to no armor profile whatsoever. And because I love tanks like the Leopard 1, I'm used to playing these kind of tanks with no armor. Uh, so I really don't mind. It makes you think more. It definitely makes you think more. But with this, this tank, unlike the Leopard, there is a special... Uh, Thing about the tank and that is it has an auto reloading gun and on top of that the HE is absolutely brilliant in this tank um, so once you get used to it it is it like I said it, it is a difficult tank to play uh, but if you play it nice and steady don't rush things you know just be patient and that is the, the it's the main thing about this tank is be patient. And if you're patient enough, it will hopefully pay off for you. And that is what you've got to do. Uh, so we're going to watch two games, but we're going to have a quick look at the stats of the tank in case you've not seen it. Uh, we're not going to have a look at the armor profile because it's literally non-existent. 60 millimeters on the turret is the best you're going to get. Uh, however, the DPM, not great at 2,235. So for a medium tank, by all means, that is not good DPM, but because it has the auto-reloading uh, gun, it doesn't matter so much. And again, with, with all auto-loader, uh, auto-loaders, sorry, auto-reloaders, it all depends on the situation you're in as to whether you should reload one shell, two shell, three shell, or whether you should fire one, two, three, or fire one, reload, fire, reload. Uh, so it all depends on your situation that you're in. I always said, and I will always say, if you've got a target, then shoot then shoot it. Just doesn't matter if you've got one shell, two shells, or three shells. Even if you've only got one shell and you've got a target to shoot, then shoot it. Because a couple of seconds later, you might not have that shot. So always take it if you need to. Um, if there is a tank, say, on 500 hit points, then yeah, it might be best to reload two shells before you then start firing because you'll be able to take that tank out pretty uh, a lot quicker. Uh, so yeah, it all depends on the situation that you are in. So you do have a three seconds uh three second reload uh, between each shot the auto reloading time for the first shell is 8.6 second shell 7.7 third shell 5.89 on top of that you've got the three second intra clip as well so do remember that you've got three shells in your magazine uh, the penetration 252 on your apcr 325 on your heat now i am running this with calibrated shells so all auto loaders or all auto reloaders i would probably definitely recommend running it with calibrated shells rather than the vents because you just get more out of it and 325 for a medium tank i think is acceptable especially as you will be coming up against tier 10 quite a lot uh, also as i've said about the he the he is absolutely fantastic for what it is 116 millimeters that is quite high for a medium tank and that is the main thing I love about this tank. Uh, you've got a 350 alpha gun, uh, 300 on your heat and 400 on your HE. So if you are able to get that HE out, if you do find yourself top tier against tier eights, you're gonna be able to HE a lot of these tanks. Uh, so of course that will up your DPM as well. So the aim time is 3.4 not the best uh, but the dispersion is actually very good at 0 0.293 it has also 10 degrees of gun depression and 58 kilometers per hour speed so we've got two battles for you we've got two battles now i went and played just one game you can see here i've played a load of different games i had one game one game a couple of days ago and that is all it needed because i just absolutely love the tank and played correctly you can play this tank very very well but in first we're going to have a game or we're going to watch a game from somebody else that does a little bit better than i did uh, but he is up against tier 10 
and he is in a platoon with a Vickers uh, cruiser. So a light tank and a medium tank uh, together. Now, both of these, if you run it with another auto loader, other auto reloader, then you can destroy tanks very, very quickly, uh, very quickly indeed. And it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun running two tanks together with the same kind of tank like this, like there's two standard beasts together um, or even another auto loader or a lot auto reloader it is kind of fun to run these in a platoon uh, so they are pushing towards the left side the heavies are going kind of to the middle which isn't the best of uh, choices for them and as you can see at the moment they've come to this side of the map and uh, no one has been spotted so that does not look good for the heavy tanks that have gone towards the middle side they could be taken out very very quickly if the red team push then these guys will not be able to do anything but as it happens happens there is a rogue e100 that is currently the only tank spotted this side of the map you look at the mini map all the red tanks by the cap area and this poor e100 all by himself it's not going to end well for this e100 however he's still going to do as much damage as he possibly can before he's uh before he's going to die and as you can see now the it, he i don't think he has the big gun so he's not uh, a very good I don't know if he's a good player or not, but he doesn't last very long, and they do manage to take him out very quickly. But the E75 has gone down, and now you can see five tanks, at least five tanks, all over there there goes the super conqueror and now this poor st1 finds himself on his own now if he does stay there it won't be too bad because the heavy tanks are going to come and they will be able to shoot these heavy tanks because they're going to have some side shots so as long as he stays here but unfortunately the st doesn't survive much longer however the enemy team are still spotted and he is able to get a couple of shots he does have all three shells reloaded now he's going to back up i would have just waited there for to get this last shell out if i'm honest i would have just waited there but no he's going to sit there he's going to wait for the second shell uh, and he is now spotted from the pattern uh, so he has lost a little bit of hit points he's done 2000 damage it is a four versus six so it's not looking good for his team at the moment now the pattern is there this is where i would reload two shells and he does just that he doesn't bother reloading the three shells because he knows he can take him out with the two shells so that is now one kill for him there goes the one two b so it is now a three versus five a three versus four and now the su 122 is a one shot just five hit points and he is now reloading loading and there goes the badger so it's just him and his platoon mate against four now it is against three so they could easily do this if they work as a team they could easily do this no problem whatsoever however there is still quite a lot of hit points to try and get through the motion is pretty much full hit points uh the e75 i'm not sure what he's on and the object 268 is uh uh, half hit points so they have to work together here they have to work together but there's the e75 the vickers has just been ripped apart now but the e75 has turned his attention to the vickers which now allows our guy here in the standard b to get the three shells off and now he is a one shot but he now has to move because the object 268 is coming so with the object 268 being on 800 hit points what i would definitely do right now is reload the three shells maybe even take a shot I definitely would not be going for this motion right now. I would be going for that object 268. But instead, he's gone for the motion. He's got his uh, shells out and he is now running away, trying to get out of there. What he needs to do now, there is still three minutes on the clock. There is still plenty of time. He's still got plenty of hit points at the moment. He needs to reload all three shells at this time because if he does reload all three shells, he can easily take care of that object 268. But the main thing he needs to do is reset his camo, come in from a different angle, and the main important thing is split these guys apart. Now, if both of these guys it on that cap it is going to be a very difficult task to be able to win this game the most he'd be able to do is probably get a draw uh, because he might be able to reset the camo but as you can see the cap points are not going up fast which means there is only one tank on that cap so he can now go and find the other tank whilst one tank is capping he can go and find the other tank and hopefully it is the motion that is capping and he can then try to get behind the object 268 
So that is in hindsight. Whether it cut, turns out like that, you never know. Uh, but when you're in game, you kind of sort of, you don't think of this because your adrenaline is qu uh, quite high, especially when you've had a really good game. He's now on 4.4K damage and he's probably sitting there thinking, do you know what? If I play this right, I could probably win this game. And because the motion is almost full hit points, I could finish on a lot of damage. So now the cap is at 72. He has to reset this cap. But where is the object? There he is. Now, luckily, only one of these uh, was capping i think only one no they're both capping now so the object is a one shot he's going to ignore the motion that's exactly what he does and that's exactly what he needed to do and now it just leaves the motion so if he just gets one shot into this motion he can no longer win this game on cap points there is not enough uh there's not enough time for him to do that but time is running out and then when time's running out like this it is going to be a difficult task if he can reload all three shells at a time. That's what he has to do to maximize his DPM. He pretty much has to reload all three shells and then maybe reload all three shells again. He has to pay attention here and he has to try not bounce any shots. So what he's going to do is coming from a different angle. He gets that angle, gets the shot into the and gets the track as well. Is he going to get the second shot? Yes, he is. And somehow he even gets, uh, was that a bounce he just got there? I don't think it was. Uh, but he still bounced 460 damage this uh, this round, which is still a good job. So just 40 seconds left on the clock. He has to make his move. He can take a shot or two from this motion. You have to remember that. And sometimes you have to take a shot. Sometimes you have to risk it. And that is now what he has to do because I don't think he's going to be able to reload all three shells. If he does, if he pens them all, he won't have to. He might only just have to reload one shell. So he's got one shell left. Left. he is going to get that shot and with 15 seconds left on the clock all he has to do is reload one shell as long as he pens it it should be okay and that is exactly what he does so very nice win there it was very very patient and that is what happens in this tank when you are patient and you have to be patient if you're not patient you're just going to get absolutely ripped apart and it he, he, it works for him 7300 damage absolutely remarkable job there uh, so now we're going to get into my game we're going to get into my game my only game this is my only game for this day, I think. I can't remember if I played anything else. Um, but yeah, this is what I mean. And I can do this regularly. And other people will be able to do this regularly. So we're just going to fast forward it. Because not a lot happens, to be fair. For the start of the game, not a lot happens. Um, but again, if you can use that HE. I mean, yeah, we failed that shot there. But we did manage to get the other two shots uh, into the standard B. If you can shoot HE, you'll be able to shoot HE at a, a lot of tanks especially in tier 8 if you can get behind them if you can use that mobility to get behind them then you will be able to do a lot more damage I mean you could do 400 plus damage per shot and if you can get three shells out and took 400 damage that's quite a lot of damage for a medium tank so you can see the Type 68 here. He's just getting ripped apart. Now, I am full hit points, but I am well aware that there are three tank destroyers on the enemy team. So we, tr we want to clear that Death Star, but he was looking directly at me and i do not want to take any chances with that death star so we just tried to get that one shot out and then we are going to hide because he can just shoot me in the face and do up to 1600 damage so yeah we do not want to uh to risk sitting out in the open in front of that death star so now we are winning we i've got 2000 damage uh, not a lot so far. It is a four now, a four versus four. Uh, I, again, the Badger is another tank I really do not want to deal with. Now, seeing as the Badger is somewhere else, the Type 68 has come around this side of the map, I will be able to deal with this guy without taking any shots or being uh, in any danger from that Death Star. So I, I really wanted to push that Type 68. I did that, and now I can relocate, reset my camo. I know that there is going to be a Badger coming in the middle now there is just three tank destroyers left a grill that can still do a lot of damage the grill can do he, even the grill can he me in the face the badger will be able to he me he me in the face so i need to be very very careful now seeing as i've got three shells and i've got nothing to shoot at i might as well go for that bush where the last where the death star was last spotted but now the grill has spotted me 
Now, we're not in any rush. Of course, we need to get the grill. We need to take care of him. But again, even coming up here, I'm a bit weary that the Death Star will be able to see me. As you can see, I am playing a little bit safe and trying to reset my camo before I go up even more. So we're on 2.5k damage. I don't want to rush things because we're winning. We're winning on supremacy points. Uh, we're winning on, on, on cap points. You might as well wait and make them cause, uh, make the error. Uh, but I now have spotted the grill there's two shots into him there's the badger so i don't want to go in front of him at all so we're just going to back up and again if we go out if i get shot from the grill i could potentially be a one shot to the badger so i need to play it safe so that is now four uh, four thousand five hundred damage not four thousand one hundred because i think we got a blind shot in on the death star and as soon as i reload a couple of shells we're just going to wait there's the badger he's going to come this way no problem whatsoever that means i'm just going to go the other way and take care of this grill so we're going to come around take care of him and now we should be able to use our mobility to get behind this badger now the first shot god knows what happened there that was absolutely poor but we are just about to win on supremacy points so i want to get as much damage before that as i can so we're going to load up the he 430 damage at the rear of him and it is now going to be game over so we play that very, very safe. You know, we didn't do anything special, but we, we was patient. We played it safe and we still managed to get 5,000 damage and a nice mastery badge. So the tank is definitely, definitely worth the grind. If you haven't grinded this tank, the whole line is a very good line to grind. A difficult line to grind, uh, but very, very good if you play them correctly. And I absolutely love the standard B. It is one of my favorite tanks in the game. One of the best tier nine tanks in the game when played correctly, but when you play it wrong, then you will suffer in this tank. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on the standard B. In my opinion, a brilliant tank when played correctly. Hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Longer than usual, but you know, it doesn't hurt for a, a, a long video every now and again. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Meadsy. There will be probably no video tomorrow because I just haven't had time to upload. Uh, so we're probably going to have a day off on Sunday and we will be back on Monday. So if not, I might do a, an OP replay for Saturday. Uh, so for Sunday evening uh, we will see so I hope you enjoyed it I'm Meezy and I'll catch you all soon bye bye